All right, all right, all right. Hopefully the thing is fixed now, because what the hell even? Anyway, <laughs> so back to what I was saying, we're doing Giant Whistle today. D doing all, all about the Giant Whistle. And yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. There's, there's been a little bit of an update, and now we'll uh, f be fixed good and be good overall. The big thing about this is just getting a bunch of uh, cooldown reduction, and I think that's going to be the best way to go about doing it. However, first thing I need to do is find some uh, decent... I can't believe I got hit there. It's find some decent uh, other mutations, probably necromancy and definitely YOLO to start with. And then we'll work on getting something to ma really make the, the giant whistle start popping off. Not quite what I was looking for to kill, but I guess that was an elite one. Cool. Uh, JK, audio is fixed. Yeah, I hope so. It was working just fine. <laughs> Like, one of the reasons why I'm doing a, a stream right now is because I just finished recording something different and I wanted to have Dead Cells up at the same time, and it was fine there. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Ooh, a flint. Do I want to go for the flint? I mean, let's try using it. Why not? I do think that that could have some... Well, uh, I'll try using it. Okay, what does Giant Whistle do? It summons the giant to punch the most dangerous enemy in the words of the the weapon, according to the giant. So it can be a little bit touchy and arbitrary sometimes, but for the most part, it does a lot of damage, and it also is not affected by the 999,000 damage cap. So, uh, except against bosses. It still has a damage cap against bosses. But aside from that... I don't know, maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll work out pretty- I can't believe I still got hit by that. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Maybe it'll be good for clearing stuff out as soon as I'm able to get the cooldown reduction that I so crave. In the meantime, sure, that has a couple more affixes on it, why not? Okay, okay. Is it from the giant DLC? It's from the latest DLC, I mean, I actually just had it on screen here. You see, it's now up up to update 14, the Who's the Boss update. The answer is Bruce Springsteen, as always. <laughs> it is, uh, it, it includes uh, seven different weapons, six new enemies based around bosses, kind of themed around them, as well as a bunch of redoing of a lot of different weaponry to scale with different stats. And just a rework of a lot of different uh, uh, balance, balancey type stuff. So look forward to that. All right, definitely gonna want a lot of health here. In fact, I don't know how I got 13 survival right now and only one in all of my other stats, but uh, that's the sort of thing that will be fixed very quickly, I would like to say. <laughs> and yeah, I like Rampart, I like Punishment. I think I'm gonna stick with Rampart because at least with my, um. At least with my current setup, I'd like to say that it's going to be a little bit better with the like, flint. However, you know, I really could just... Yeah, screw it. That's a good item. Nutcracker still isn't good. Nutcracker's good. It's a good weapon. It's cool. Nutcracker's still cool, kids. No, it... it Nutcracker's very good. It, it has really good synergy with um the the thing. The, the, the wolf trap. Wolf trap as far as survival skills go. And it's also really excellent for like early game. You have it unlocked immediately. Hate it when you get two items and you have no space. I mean, I, I don't know. You always get money for it, so I'm generally not too broken up by it. And yes, okay, good. Good to see that that actually attacks the protectors now, because that was annoying when, it, when the giant often decide to hit an elite over a protector now. It's, it all really depends on what sort of items I'm getting, I suppose. Some are most certainly better than others, and usually there's kind of a clear sort of a hierarchy of good affixes or something to get on there. Difficult weapon to use. Yes, the thing. Yeah, the thing. The wolf trap. Wolf trap is what I was saying. That's a thing. It is an object that exists in the world that you could refer to as... In the generic sense of being the thing. It's also because it starred in the John Carpenter movie based off of the thing from outer space. Bunch it. Cool. Also, my god. What have I done? 
And I actually did manage to get off of there. It was just um, not with enough time to avoid getting exploded. It was enough time to have the explosion kind of force me over onto the edge there. Well, that was annoying, but I should be fine regardless. And there we are. Ah, oh, Nutcracker is the thing prequel. Hmm. <laughs> That's a disturbing thing to think about. I mean, there were a lot of things getting cracked open in the thing, certainly. But, yeah. I feel like whatever the fist, fist comes in contact takes damage, but it doesn't. It does like a stun is kind of how it works. It's not really so much... It, it does like a big AoE stun, but only actually hits one enemy. And it's only enemies that are very, like, close to the other ones. It is... Giant's Whistle I like as a weapon because I like having that really huge burst and I do think that once I start to get the Once I start to really get the uh, uh, cooldown reduction that I'm looking for that it's going to be much better But part of th this is definitely a sort of a Figure it out as you go run since I haven't been using it a tremendous amount since it's been first introduced what weapon are you using? This is all about the Giant Whistle. Giant Whistle, one in the bottom left corner right there. It does a huge amount of damage to a singular enemy, which can be somewhat arbitrary, as the as the description says, according to the Giant. But it is uncapped damage. It can go over 99,999 to a single enemy. Does not count against bosses, but it does count against any sort of individual enemy, so by the end of it, it's going to be... It's gonna be real something. Oh, you're talking about the shovel? It's a shovel. <laughs> it um, hits back projectiles, uh, bomb projectiles, and is a, generally a pretty fast weapon as far as a survival scaling one goes. So it's um, it's kind of worth taking. I mean, here here's a good example of how it gets used. It's a fun weapon. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't work on bosses? It doesn't do uncapped damage on bosses. It works on bosses. It just will hit the damage cap really easily, since it tends to be so powerful, as you know. Oh, that was kind of weird. Apparently, you can cancel out the animation for the fist by rolling, it looks like. Hmm, any particularly good survival synergy? I couldn't find many green items that applied stats. I mean, every item applies stats. It just, um... Well, really, when you're doing um, survival, it's just your standard. Go for all poison. Um, go for freezing enemies. A lot of uh, big, big uh, hitting weapons are slow, so you want to be able to have some sort of crowd control on enemies, all that sort of thing. It's uh, That's generally how you want to play survival. There are also a lot of fairly fast weapons, too, in case you wanted to go for... A double boomerang, which is generally a very potent combination, even up on the really high cell difficulties. It's something to look for. And anyway, at this point in time, I am in fact going to take Necromancy just to kind of keep on uh, not dying at 35% health here. Let's just say that. Thank you for fixing that nonsense. I mean, it, sh it shouldn't have been going in the first place. <laughs> By the time you reach spoiler area, normal items have four stats, right? Uh, so that's when legendaries with three stats don't look as good. No, the four stats is only, only on necklaces. Every, everything only has two stats. It's just, um, necklaces become powerful enough to get four stats. For whatever reason, necklaces kind of aren't, uh, bound by the same rules as other weapons. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't really tell you. I guess it's because one of the main things you get from necklaces is the stat, the stat raises. But nah, uh, a... Oh, I still got hit by that anyway. Yeah, that was annoying. Anyway, give me this. What was I saying? Uh, yeah. S rank items have two stats, and you can't get any more on that with items except for legendaries. So, yeah, that's just how it do. Bam. Now, if I do get Instinct of the Master of Arms, I am... Okay, that was actually pretty good. Uh, if I do get Instinct of the Master of Arms, I am going to probably want to switch out a weapon for something that actually has a critical here. Come on. That's what I wanted to do so I can get that invincibility barrier. Yeah. And punch him. Uh, it's a little bit sparingly to use, but a little bit sparing on how often you can use this, but it's pretty good. So, not too disappointed in it just yet. Okay, that was close. Almost got me. 
Oh, don't break down that door. I was going to use that for door advantage. Now I got to use my invincibility barrier. Punch it. <laughs> Not as much damage as I was hoping for, but I also didn't really expect too much there. Oh, what? What? Oh, she got stunned from the death orb. That's really silly. And then knocked him out of his attacking animation when I was trying to go for that sort of combo there. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. It's what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Instinct of the master of the arms of the soul of the blood of the wolf. Ugh, Death Orb became survival in 1.4. Yeah, I mean, since it was, you know, a big, slow-moving weapon, it makes a lot more sense being survival as opposed to tactics, especially since it has been nerfed so much, as you know. Cool. <laughs> and get down here before I lose my invincibility barrier. You didn't do it. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> that's, all, that's really all I need. Uh, what? Huh, you didn't notice me. Uh, now you did. Oh, well, this is... You know, I'm not even going to bother with this sort of thing. Such a cool-sounding mutation. Instinct I wouldn't really call it a cool-sounding mutation. I would call it a... A serviceable-sounding mutation. It sounds... it You you get it. <laughs> you understand what it does. And I guess that... No, it doesn't make any sense here. Oh, cha cha, -cha. Flawless would actually be very good with Instinct of the Master of the Arms. Of the soul of the blood of the wolf. <laughs> because uh, you would always get criticals on that unless, you know, you you get hit. Which is kind of important, especially in boss fights. But until that point in time, you're golden. Punch him. And that's pretty good feeling. Those hammers are usually pretty obnoxious enemies. But being able to take them out in one gigantic Fisting blow is is pretty satisfying. The only reason it used to be tactics because it dealt an insane amount of damage. I mean, it was all. It's also a skill. <laughs> Skills just across the board used to be tactics. That's just that's just how it go. That's just how it be. I want to eat this fresh baked bread. Well, by all means, <laughs> punch him. I ain't even bothering with this malarkey. Uh, I think the whistle should either have lower CD or do damage to all the enemies close to the targeted one. I feel like the fact that it does so much damage is, you know, the, the, the balancing point here. You know what to take with the mutations in the second weapon slot, though. I mean, you could just take two whistles, really. I'd say that would probably be pretty effective, if nothing else. Oh, nice. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, seems like a worse powerful grenade. It does even more damage, and that's where I think it's going to be good. But, you know, you do have a point there. It does definitely share a lot of the same sort of... Uh, maybe I just like the fact that it does a big old fisty fist punch. <laughs> I do like the big fisty fist punch. I'm just a fan of that in general. Ooh, that was close. Maybe, uh... Maybe shouldn't have been so uh, so risky there, but hey, it worked out. All right, punch him. Huh? I guess I didn't count. Now punch him. <laughs> uh, fisting enemies with a fisty fist punch. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, don't don't even think about taking that out of context because it's already terrible in context. Okay. Oh, well, that at least took care of the... Really? That was the one you decided to take? I guess that was the one closest to me, but still. It wouldn't be my first choice. Ooh, another uh, cool shovel. And also, I should be using the shovel on this, since hammers are pretty well countered with the whole ability to continuously hit back their, their junk. I don't really need that, actually. I absolutely will take it out of context. I gave you permission. Well, no, I gave you permission, permission to keep it in context because it was already terrible. Whatever. Just do whatever you want. That is the whole of the law. So. <laughs> uh, da, 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 yeah. Oh, in very certain circumstances, the shovel can be pretty good. Otherwise, it's just a nice, fast weapon. 
It's going to eventually lose a little bit of luster, but until then, until then, I'm not disappointed in what's happening at all. What do we got? Oh, da -da -da. well, you know, uh, we were kind of doing a little bit of compare and contrast here. Why not take this and see what's going on? Ah. Throw that on there. That should be pretty much... I mean, I guess I can go see what's in that chest, but it doesn't matter. I got the two stats here. That's all you really need. Uh, you can knock out the birds. I mean, I guess you technically can if you got, like, a stun grenade, but it doesn't really work the same way that, like, demons do, certainly. <laughs> Did you get the last two mutations? No, I'm still missing a couple mutations here. I also still haven't even unlocked the ones for uh, Brutality, I think. I'm missing um, Frenzy and uh, Adrenaline, which is pretty bad, but hey. I have no excuse. What am I even saying here? Ah. Let's continue on here. Going pretty good so far, although I do think that, as usual, when it comes to a... Why am I even bothering with this? Okay, uh... And... Ah, it's heavy grenade might be better. It does have less cooldown, doesn't it? 20 versus 13. Uh, the Powerful Grenade does 4,000 damage. Giant Whistle does twice as much, though. And it's actually even less of less powerful than Giant Whistle, so I do think there's a definite reason why you'd want to use one over the other. The, the damage. It's the damage. You're looking for the damage. <laughs> oh, come on now. I did a... I got the parry in on there. The game said I didn't get the parry in on there, but I did. Well then, that's fine, that's fine. Whoa, hey guys, take a walk on the wild side. That's why Rampart's pretty good. Anyway, punch him. And hey, would you like to do a parry, a bull offense? Why, yes, you would. Perfect. Ah, yeah, that was a little bit awkward. Need a little bit more space here if I wanna go for the full. Oh, why am I even bothering? I already got this open. Hey, do this again. Powerful grenade is nice for crowd control. And yeah, that's the main reason why you'd want to use it, certainly. I mean, I'd like to say that that over anything else is kind of the, the biggest reason to use the powerful grenade when it comes to a uh, survival run. But, you know, hey, it's uh, it. I like the big powerful weapon. And you can use it from pretty much any sort of... Uh, any sort of um, enemy around here with like impunity. It just it just homes in on the enemy and crushes them like the bugs they are. <laughs> How can you not appreciate that? Ow, oh, I ask. Oh, just, I meant to go for the to really stop screwing around, not um there. I mean, I, th there's there's food shops here. There's a bunch of stuff going on. It'll be all pretty pretty swanky eventually. All right, fair enough. Punch him. Very nice. Imagine the whistle in any kind of sport. What sort of sport would you need to have a team opposing or friendly get punched <laughs> to the extreme? Yeah. Let's go. This is gonna be a little. This is gonna be a little bit more interesting. Ah, what do you think of two shields with two waves of denial? I mean, that doesn't really work quite the same because they don't. I, I mean, I guess you don't really need stats for wave of denial to be good, but it's like two shields. I guess it would be very defensive focused, but your offense would really be lacking, and that would be your downfall. Ah, uh, boxing. Oh, yeah. You know what? You're right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Fair enough. Punch him. And let's go with this. Parry that. Punch it again. And just keep chain punching, basically, endlessly, I guess. 
giant whistle only run? I was seriously considering that. It's like if you do it right, if you're if you're willing to really take some time here, you could probably get a good whistle only run happening. You know? <laughs> it's just I don't think that would be very interesting due to the big uh the ridiculous cooldown time. It, it just wouldn't be entertaining in that way alone. I right, watch this. You want to get punched? Sure. <laughs> uh, can giant punch but giant? Well, we're going to be finding out now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, one of the things I've been doing in these showcase runs of the new weapons is trying to take them against the wep the the enemies that, well, they they come from. So. We're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, maybe like a shield plus whistle run. That would be the way to do it, certainly. Ah, I, 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 screw it, just punch him. <laughs> what am I even bothering with this whole rigmarole around here? When I can merely punch and it will be just an absolutely flawless display of skill. Now punch him again for my own sick amusement. I'll just tell the giant to stop hitting himself. We're gonna get a third arm, I think, is the real question. <laughs> Roll so I can get my cooldown reduction. Thank you. And now to abuse that cooldown reduction like crazy. I love it so. It's... Ah, I don't know how good of a weapon it is, but it is such a satisfying weapon. Oh, boy. This is one of those problems where sometimes I fall in love with a weapon for reasons other than it being, like, effective. <laughs> And, yeah, just punch him. There you go. That'll work. Jump to me so I can get my cooldown reduction. You should be a huge UFC fan. Actually, not really. Don't really watch any sort of sports myself. And I have a uh, religious objection to uh, hexagons in any way, unfortunately. I think you'll understand. There we are. And yeah, take it. That's, that's going to be good. That's that's going to be a big health increase as well, which is going to be good. Uh, at least it prioritizes things with the damage field. Or, I mean, it prioritizes elites and it prioritizes protectors, which is which is really the, the biggest and most important change that has come out in the last, uh, last update here. Are heptagons okay? I guess septagons are okay. Octagons? Absolutely. I'm actually a big fan of those. Hexagons, though? I don't... You know, it's... There's, like... What about dodecahedrons? I guess that's fine. I'm, I'm a fan of isohedrons in just about any form, but... I, it seems unnecessary. I am a big fan of the Phantom Toll Booth, though, which does have that one kid that has a face... What? Hey, try that again. And do it correctly this time. Uh, Phantom Toll Booth is a pretty baller book, if you were to ask me. Punch him. That's not quite who I want punched, but, uh, eh, who am I to disagree? There we are. <laughs> oh, notice the Persona playlist got updated today, but a private video. <laughs> there. Yeah, you know what, there, that'll also be a good, um... That'll also be a good thumbnail, too. Enjoy. Enjoy your new Persona episode. And me talk and me trying to make the case for Persona being a Christian game. <laughs> that was an interesting topic of conversation. But anyway, there you go. Let's keep a let's keep this train wreck a rolling, as I like to say. Oh, I see that you saucy fellows happen to have. A legendary weapon next to you. Well, I'm... Ah! Get out of here. I upload stuff during streams all the time. If you're not used to that at this point, I don't know what to say. There we go. And let's just try to blitz you down like crazy. Oh. Now, nah, I just gotta be careful here. Great thing about... Yeah. <laughs> no trying to make a case. There's no way. I just, like, I don't even know what you're talking about. D 
the weird Christianity type of stuff has been a huge part of the game since Persona 3. I'm just making the, the obvious obvious. <laughs> really, all I need to do is see the first boss to make it clear. Oh, yes, please. Vorpin. I do like the Vorpin. <laughs> and also, as far as getting a lot of critical hits goes, that could also be good, too. We'll see. I kind of want to keep the... To be honest, the the shield I'm using right now has been pretty good. So... Is it required as I punch him to use the whistle? No, I just like to say it. <laughs> Rip Symmetrical Lance. It's... I want to say that is a good... Look, if I'm going to drop the Symmetrical Lance for anything, I want to say the Vorpin is going to be the one to get. <laughs> like, come on. I have an idea for the next stream. You only use items of the same color on 2-4 boss cell. Uh, so, like, solid uh, solid color items? I mean, that could probably work. Sure. I don't really see why not. Are you ever going to make a Secrets of Grindia video? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, soon enough, soon enough. I I, I want to do arcade mode. I have the full thing of just regular uh, story mode, if you want. Pretty much 100%. And... I was going to say punch it, cause, but I knew people were going to make fun of me for that again. I just want to... I like the term punch it. You punch things. Vo-pan. <laughs> Great. Ooh. Watch out there before this saucy fellow takes me down. Paradise City. You know, just... Don't... St <laughs> I want to keep saying it. Oh. You, ru you ruined it for me. Crit pan enemy is facing you. The enemy has to be facing you. It's basically the exact opposite of the... It's basically the exact opposite of the, um, the Assassin's Dagger. Are you looking forward to Darkest Dungeon 2? Yes. I want to see what's up with that. I'm interested, but... You know, I also want to see, like, what what are they doing to change it up? Why, why are we having Darkest Dungeon 2? Why are we not getting more Darkest Dungeon updates? What is so good here that it requires a second one to... To fully... to be fully realized? And there we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, don't listen to them, Doc. You're getting gaslighted by them making you feel bad. They're trying to steal the jewels that I had inherited? Oh, no. <laughs> Nobody ever knows the actual origin of gaslighting. I feel like it's my solemn duty to remind people. Huh? Oh, you're in my head, chat. <laughs> you're in my head. <laughs> it's frustrating. Oh. Because they're busy working on a second one. Now that's a tautology if I ever heard one. Today I was hit by a lovely young man. In the I was hit on by a lovely young man in the restroom. I have a I have hella long hair, and the alpha male was undoubtedly trying to win me over. I think he brought up how loudly he can slam doors. Doors are on hinges. They're not that difficult to slam. Uh, what is lamb sauce? Isn't that like mint jelly? I thought that's kind of the traditional way to look at that. Uh, most underrated Disney movie in your opinion? Oh, what's a good, really underrated Disney movie? Um, Was Brave Little Toaster Disney? I don't think so. I, I, I don't know if that's really underrated. Uh, God, I don't know. Hard to say. Bam. Bam. Oh, no! You almost got me there, but not so far. What does the whistle do? It makes it so the giant punches an enemy for a lot of damage. It's, it's, it's as simple as that, really. It's good stuff. Ah, let's just go for that. Make sure, like, why, why am I even waiting around for my um thing? Treasure Planet? I didn't like Treasure Planet all that much. I'm going to admit right now, <laughs> that's not... Ah, uh, mmm. You're putting me in a tough position here, chat. <laughs> Makes me say punch it. It's true, it does. <laughs> it, it does. Unfortunately, as it turns out... Oh, what? Hey, come on. <laughs> 
I hit the man. Harsh. Oh. Ah. Big glass of chocolate milk here. Get right back in the saddle, as you know. I hit the whistle and everything too. I lost my Vorpen. <laughs> my Vorpen. All right, well, you know, hey, easy come, easy go, little high, little low. All we need is just one more attempt here, and it should be fine. I'm very disappointed that I got killed by that, though. That was not a, that was not a good, uh, good play on my part. Let's restart this run here. Ah, oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Why is it whenever I'm cursed on five boss style, I get the hor horrible urge to slam authority in the back as hard as possible? Oh, that's called the call of the void. <laughs> Don't listen to it. That's the sort of thing that leads you to destruction. And... Huh, interesting idea, but I'm not going to go for that. Okay, well now I gotta go actually get the whistle again. You know, normally when you're doing like a video, that's not really all that big of a deal. It's just, uh, when you're live, it becomes a little bit more of an issue. I'll take this instead of the parry shield, why not? I don't really need a parry shield as it is. Uh, can I get a, uh, please euphanize me, nya. You know, like, nya. Also, yes, and I just did it. There. And give me this, too. And now I'm fully back up to full health. No malaise. It looks, it's all looking up for me. here. Good stuff. You know when this comes out on beta? It is in beta right now. It's just not in uh, full release. So if you want to get on the train, the choo-choo ride it, woo-woo, now is about the time to do so. Yeah, I didn't quite get the parry there, but close enough. Okay. Ah, uh, stop hitting me. <laughs> and one more hit. And that. Oh, Kate, okay, where do you even? What is this? <sighs> I'm kind of mad that I got hit there. Choo woo, choo woo. <laughs> I just had to read that because what the hell even? Okay, I need more stats, and I also... Yeah, let's go to the... Yeah, he's just gonna go hit up the... The sewers, I suppose. Let's see if I can't, um... Find something good here. Probably. I'll give it an attempt, regardless. What do we got? Night throwers being the worst thing since forever. Really? Compared to... Compared to, uh... The, um... Arbiters or something like that? Oh man, that is that is a bold statement and one that I can't agree with. <laughs> uh, nothing here really piques my interest. Let's just get out of here. By the way, I was at a grocery store the other day and I saw a cleaning product name called the Scour Daddy. Hmm. I guess the 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 mortal enemy of Smooth Daddy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Doc answered Jude Hazley. Are you married? Please answer. No, not even. Like, I could not be any farther from being married. What does that mean? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. It's like a mystery that I'm providing to you in the form of a riddle. A question. So. Ah, it's already past two minutes. Dag, yo. It means a harem. How? That's... What? <laughs> oh. Hello, Stuart Collins. <sighs> so, of course, I instantly thought scour me hard, daddy. <laughs> Thanks, Doc Chat. I want to say that's internet culture entirely. You can't really blame me for such a thing. Okay, come on. Got to get a whistle here. These are whistle runs. I got my giant outfit on. Everything like that. I can't just not have this sort of thing going on here. I mean, it's... All you need is a skill... A skill shop or whatever should be easy. I got 33,000 money. That's enough to buy any sort. 
It seems like whistles are kind of expensive, but they're not so expensive that I wouldn't be able to afford them. So, we'll test that theory in a second, though, I suppose. And... Oh, can we just take out all the traps in the game? I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> I, I mean, there is, you know, the whole, like... I guess you would just make it so the uh, the challenge rifts are nothing. They're just a little empty area where you get a treasure chest and leave. <laughs> Why not? Sounds good to me. Oh, Doc, do you know Admiral Bull Hayes Halsey? I do not. And this is going to be interesting. Oh, actually did hit. Uh, 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 okay. Well, that worked out so Surprisingly well, even though I kind of choked on my own words there for a second. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just, like, the real thing, uh, more than anything else, I just want to go get a giant whistle because that's part of the run. If I'm not doing the run, I feel naked. Even more so than being a skeleton right now, which doesn't have any skin. And there we go. Not doing great as far as malaise goes, but I'll have opportunity to fix that soon enough. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to be the ideal now, isn't it? I should really not even screw around with going into uh, places that I know are going to kill me. And instead, just, like, go and fight the giant through the... Not through the cavern, but through the... Uh, secondary area that you can get to him at the sepulcher. That's just, hmm. Where you have to kill a certain amount of enemies within a time limit instead of doing an obstacle course. And they can make it so that uh, if you get hit once, you would fail that challenge. No! That's what they used to be! <laughs> that one was terrible. I would much rather have the current challenge rips over those ones. Ugh. Just a horrible experience overall. You get hit one time, and you're just done. You're done for, dog. It's awful. Okay. A little bit cautious, a little bit careful, calm, cool, and collected. Okay. Ah. Gotta go. Good luck on the stream. Well, we'll see. It hasn't been going too great so far, but I want to get at least, like, one good run going in on here before I call it a night. No Terraria? I mean, technically, I finished Terraria. There's not really too much more to do there. It would just be mostly continuing on with the multiplayer stream, which I promised people I would, and I will. <laughs> oh, very nice. But for right now, we're going with Dead Cells. Dead Souls. And I, I don't really know. Oh, no, I don't, I don't need the Crusher. Sure. That's not really the one I would have chose. Calamity Mod is like a whole new game. Yeah, well, if you tell people to actually figure out how to install mods, and then maybe we'll do it. Let's go. Pull an RT game and fill 255 server. There is no way I have that much clout. <laughs> that's just not... Ooh, that's just not going to happen. Play Thorium instead. I can do both. We can do both at the same time, really. I had both of them installed, in fact. By the way, what's the IP for your server? I don't know. <laughs> uh, why does it feel like the giant fist doesn't do any AoE? It doesn't. It's true. An astute observation. It only does AoE stunning around enemies that are very close to it. So it's, um... It's, uh... Very much a specialized weapon, only attacking a single enemy at a time, and that can be an issue. I didn't mean to hit that. Huh. Oh no, it has a cooldown on the amount of times it can shoot out the arrows. Key mod loader makes loading mods in the game super easy. Tell that to everybody else! <laughs> I wasn't li- ooh, poisons. Uh, I wasn't lying about that. It wasn't my fault. I installed it just fine. Everybody else had the issue. And that's what you get for trying to attack me when I'm cursed. Okay, that was actually a good get to there, Giant. Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is some good stuff. Uh, anyway. Yeah. There. 
Oh, the giant fist can sometimes appear as a middle finger. Is that true or just a rumor? I've never seen it. I remember people saying that it would be funny if that could happen, but so far, it's not true as far as I know. And done. Easy as that. And this time, I think I am going to instead take the Instinct of the Master of the Arms. Because that just seems like a, a not bad idea at all. <laughs> this is definitely the sort of weapon that would have benefit from it a little bit more. Anything past the first hit, those critical hits, would be good on bosses and everything. Okay. I mean, it's not only AoE, but I guess it does do moving around as well. There's a little bit of uh, motion in that ocean. Is there a reason the Kamikaze Bats do so much damage? I mean, I guess it's just a big explosion. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense in that context. But, I mean, it is still a lot of damage. And they also kill themselves at, at the point in time that they actually do it, so... You know, it's sort of a, uh... It's sort of a, a... The enemy dies, so you should too type of idea? Sure. Have I missed the death? You sure did. Uh, I want to keep the instinct of the Master of the Arms. But I also, like... Shovel's a good weapon. It's a good weapon. Does that mean he has four arms? Well, I guess we'll see when we go fight the giant, really. <laughs> if you if you do it in quick succession. I mean, normally... No, it hit him out of the way. It hit the other enemy out of the way enough that it wasn't able to get punched. Have you ever considered playing music on your streams other than your own amazing covers? <laughs> I mean... On, like, the, the Persona streams, I've considered doing that, but I don't really want to get, like, VODs muted if I ever do decide to put them up, which I usually don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, bring back Tom's Diner. Of course. Of course. What else would you, would you, would you do? Uh, Flawless would actually be a good item for what I'm talking about here, but it's just not, meh. I'm not sure if you know, uh, if, if other people don't know. But you can carry the Kamikaze Vats. Yeah, you can. I, it's not advisable. And I want to say most of the time, if you have, like, a... Most of the time, you're going to undo it if you have, like, shoots an arrow out when you when you uh, hold up the... Hmm, that, like, freezes enemies. I didn't really even think about it. But that's a good combo. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what was I saying here? Uh, yeah, if you have, like, a throws out a grenade or throws out an arrow, it usually kills the enemy before you can parry it, so... I wouldn't say to rely on it for any, any reason. <laughs> uh. And just, just, just keep, keep at it. It's already working out pretty quick. Ah, which you should absolutely watch those streams. Oh, boy, the... The, the shock and embarrassment that comes from those streams. But, I mean, I'm going to continue rolling. Not tonight, since I'm doing the whole Dead Cells one. And, uh, also I put up a Persona episode. I feel like I... Not really entirely necessary just yet to do that. Also, mmm, good stuff. <laughs> uh, did that, that was a very satisfying type of thing. But also, I'm worried that I'm going to get killed. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. I mean, and, and it's like, I'm not, I guess I, now that I'm looking at it, I do somehow, against all odds, have 17 survival right now, which is kind of ridiculous, but, uh, ooh, just, just, yeah, let's, let's let the fists do the talking. Talk to the fist, cause the face ain't listening, which I don't have anyway, I have cloud smoke head. Uh, attacking after a parry deals a lot of extra damage. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, are you Bayonetta now? God, if only. I'm not, but no. <laughs> uh, let's go into the sewers. I heard an involuntary uwu. That no, it wasn't involuntary. <laughs> Get back here, coward. I have school too. No. I mean, yeah, the, the, the Twitch streams are, tend to only be, uh, tend to only, let's just go with this. I like the Rampart so much. Uh, Twitch streams tend to only be, at least as of right now, Persona stuff. So, yeah, if you're looking for, like, better stuff than that, look elsewhere. Let's just keep going. 
play the Weeb National Anthem. No! Are you an oo or an o -wo guy? Personally, I'm an oo guy. I'd look at the description for this stream. <laughs> he needs to get a gun first before he's Bayonetta. I guess, like, the repeater crossbow would kind of be the closest thing to that. Being, like, machine gun E. Or, or maybe, like, the... the the uh, Sonic crossbow. Being that that's a little bit more uh, sci-fi laser rifle type. Okay. Plus one for the Weeb Anthem. I told you, I don't want to get... I don't want to get any sort of copyright strikes or even attempt to... To, uh let that evil into this hallowed hall that is the stream. <laughs> that just is a bad idea. All right. Now, there are a lot of small enemies. And, of course, the whistle only hits a single enemy at a time. However, I think I can swing it. I think I can probably swing it. We'll see. Oh, hola, Doc. So does the... Desde? Argentina? Hey, <laughs> I guess. I don't know why I, I attempted to try to say that since I knew I'd fail. <laughs> I was doomed to failure from the very uh, from the very start. I need ASMR to sleep. I understand. Should probably be not this risky, but uh, let's let's just punch it anyway. That's some good punching. <laughs> and I said punch it. Ah, Dead Cells ASMR. You missed some of the streams where that was kind of a uh, reality. Okay, uh, crush this. Whoa, dog! My home slice! Why did I risk that so hard? Uh, I guess I thought I'd kill both of them at once. It didn't quite happen that way, now did it? Oh, boy. Um, I see the tentacle down there. I don't want to mess around with this. Like that's again talking about inviting evil into this ha these hallowed halls. That's a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang tight here for one sec and get at least one of my whistles up, and we're gonna go. Does poison kill you if you're cursed? Yes, I can tell you that right now. It absolutely does. It's like what am I? What do you do? You, do you really think that I'm gonna fall for that? What sort of rube do you take me for? You should test it. I don't need to test it. I know this for a fact. Like, what are you people... What are you even on about, you madman? Okay. can probably get to the... Mm. I'm just being very careful. Uh, it looks like there's no other enemies to fight here. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm gonna have to make a run for it across those, uh, across the hazards up above, which is not gonna be fun, but we're gonna see here. I'm gonna see if I can't make this. Wait, seriously? What? Uh, poison kills you when you're cursed, but darkness damage doesn't. That is, in fact, true. That is a truism. Darkness damage does not do that. There we are. Good stuff. Uh, why do you think the saying Omayo Amo Shinderu is evil? It's not? I guess, it's just the, I, I guess if you're not a big fan of Berserk, and I know a lot of people aren't after the newest anime adaptation, but I feel like the phrase itself is still pretty innocuous. Ah, whatever. Just beat him up with big old bony fist. Ow! That was horrible. When is the next NetHack stream? Why do you want a NetHack stream? I mean, I love that game and everything, but I don't really... I, I said before, I don't think it makes for good television. Berserk, that's from Fist of the North Star. No, I'm pretty sure it's from Berserk. Ah, 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 ah! Oh, wow. Look out that tentacle... Too sweet. Okay. Okay. Necromancy now is gonna have me handled as far as surviving goes. So if I do happen to take a big hit here, I can 
I can uh, probably up with that, get up with the tonic, and then I should still stay with a very minimal amount of... With a very minimal amount of uh, 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 malaise by the time that I actually beat up the conjunctivius. I'm hoping the conjunctivius goes easily, what with the whole um, double whistle action happening here. I can see it going pretty well with this, if I'm being honest. There's a good chance that this will turn out better than bad. It'll turn out good. Oh boy, this is going to be more of an issue though. Especially since there's two of them. Okay. Why do you prefer the heart instead of disengagement? It Because the heart also clears out... God, that is good. Um, the heart also clears out malaise. It's the fact that it clears out malaise that makes it so valuable. Okay, do I want this? Yeah, I think I want this. That's some pretty good damage, if I do declare. In fact, that's actually really good damage. Uh, 11,000 versus 6. Ah, better than bad, it's good. It's log. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> that act is interesting, but unless you explain every little thing... Well... <laughs> You're talking to the right person as far as explaining every little thing goes with a video game. Uh, it's not going to be very easy to get into. I mean, it's it's also like it doesn't have music. It barely has graphics. There's a lot of reasons why I don't think people would be all that interested in it. Doc, how thick are you? Extra. Uh, so then the fist is single target. It's single target, but it also does a little bit of... Uh, like shoving around as well as stunning on enemies that it's very close to. So, it's, so for example, like you can see how it punched the, the the ugly worm there and then punched the ugly worm again up onto that other platform. It's, uh, it's not like the best for AoE, but it does do a little bit. It does do a little bit. What's the best Dead Cells outfit? Festive. No question. Best of outfit is the best. Uh, Minecraft stream? I just finished Terraria. Is that not enough? <laughs> oh dang, yo. Well, that's what I was talking about with uh, using that tonic eventually. And oh, also, sure. Get rigged erect. And. Nah, get out of here. Piccolo outfit trumps all. I disagree. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. How's the giant fist manage to phase through solid ground but still hits enemies? I mean, the giant does that too. So I guess, you know, turnabout is fair play. On your other enemies. Insinuating the Minecraft and Terraria are the same. They're the same enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say they're exactly the same thing, but it's like... As far as, you know, doing a series goes, I want to say one would suffice for the other. And down. Let's go. Doc, you want to hear a joke? Oh, just do it. <laughs> Spare me the torture of your questions and say your damnable joke. <laughs> Already at 23 survival. Jesus. Also, the golden outfit is pretty dope. Ah, it's all right. It's not like it's my favorite, but, um, it's pretty good. I am just, I love that. I love that so much. It's so fun. <laughs> uh, going down here is going to be the best idea. Uh, do a high pixel skyblock stream. I mean, uh, Wolo or whatever his name is, is like up updating cube world now we can go do that if you want <laughs> Ugh, i'm really not uh really not feeling too confident in taking out those enemies in any way i also don't really feel confident going through any amount of traps right now that's real rough do you think giant's fist damage will be nerfed it actually just got buffed since it's no longer capped <laughs> So, I don't think so. I think that it's doing pretty much what Motion Twin wants it to be. Okay, okay. Well, it's going to be the best way to approach this, because I really don't know.
Yeah, I guess. I mean, why not just keep going? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But it only tickles bats? I mean, it still destroys bats. <laughs> it's just, you know. The AoE is not very impressive. The damage is there. <laughs> not quite what I was looking for. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. You too. Oh! Anyone else think there should be another final boss alongside the Hand of the King? I mean, I always was, um... I always thought that there should be... That, like, the... Oh, well. <laughs> that didn't hit anything now, did it? Ah. I always thought that there should be a dual fight with the Collector and the, um... And the... The reincarnated or well revived version of the the treasure hunter at some point in time but that's not actually what the battle turned out to be but you know whether good or bad it just comes up to preference i suppose the collector is dot 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 uh the collector like, i don't know what you want me to say here Three left, three left. Yeah, cut that out. Okay, okay, okay. Doc, whom's the treasure hunter? The the tutorial lady at the beginning of the game that gives you the tutorials. That's who I'm talking about. The Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is a proper name, I suppose. But uh, that person. You know, she dies. Presumably killed by the Collector, if I'm being honest. The dude did say that he killed a lot of people. <laughs> Doc, hit your mic. Like, just slap it. That wouldn't do anything. I ha have a, like, a uh, thing on it. A windshield or whatever you call it. Okay, let's just go here. Final boss, it isn't the Collector. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. But it's like, I also would like to see a return of the Tomb Raider. Okay. <laughs> uh, frightened, but managed to get out of there anyway. And also, I'm noticing that there aren't any more enemies to kill in this area. Oh, no! <laughs> Spit guard. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about the last curse chest here. Let's just go. Oh, and not and not fret. And I guess give me the money and god, I don't even know. What do you what do you got? Like it's not anything amazing. Just get out of here. Uh, do you think in an area where all the timelines from the clock tower are converging and you see phantoms of your previous lives die in the background and make for a cool final DLC area for the dead cells? Oh, if we were going to bring, bring back, like, the timekeeper in that way? I mean, ultimately, it seems like she has dominion over the entire island, judging by the true ending, as well as the the uh, first time you beat the, the final boss. Like, I don't know. Uh, wouldn't really be a specific area by itself. It's hard to say. So, what was I looking for here? I mean, uh, I'm just going to go dead inside. I'm not going to worry about, like, other stuff here. Isn't the Time Keeper the only boss you don't kill? He... Yes. <laughs> that is true. I mean, that used to be the case. Now then, any other any more questions? <laughs> I mean, for a survival weapon, that's a lot of damage for a big old flying enemy like this one. <laughs> pretty good. I'm pretty impressed here. 
Ooh. Okay, get that good invincibility barrier going on. Now that I actually know where these tentacles are coming from, it makes it so much easier to parry them and, like, deal with their whole shenanigans. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right. Oh, he went from the wrong direction. I couldn't get over there in time. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, I'm not really going to fret too much about losing that little bit. Yeah, rip perfect, but that's fine. I mean, it'll be acceptable in its own way. Bunch it. <laughs> I deserve that one, at least. That punch it. <laughs> Hooray, I'm the best. Okay. Very much a good fight. Now, <laughs> the real question is, are we going to get this nerfed? I don't know. I don't think so. But, like, hmm. So it's just eight hits for the kill? I mean, I still need to beat up the tentacles, but yes. <laughs> Oh, like 26 seconds away from getting that. That's really too bad. Giant whistle on the giant yet? I mean, we're going to be looking at that very soon here. That's kind of the the idea going on. <laughs> Several punch man. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> oh, man. So close. So close to getting a perfect fight there. And that's tough to do with a survival-based fight, I'm sure you can probably guess. And you too. No, okay. I just wanted to make sure that you understood the position that you're in, Mr. Bomber. Ah. I guess that doesn't proc inv invincibility when you parry those. Something I never really tried out. That does, though. Interesting. Not gonna worry too much about it. Serious series, consecutive punches. I mean, yeah, it's like that's kind of how you should be punching dudes if you're going to be doing it. Not, I mean, like just trying to beat a guy with a single punch like your Mongo punching a horse is not really going to be the most effective thing. This is how you want to do it. A big flurry. Stop. Hammer time? <laughs> ah, I didn't do it. I didn't see the defender here. Okay. All right. It is pretty good for uh, crowd control, even if it doesn't kill the enemies. Just the ability to make sure that they get a little bit... Uh, they get a little bit razzled. They get a little bit hit around is just fine. Oh, not quite in there. But then the amount of damage I'm doing otherwise. 24 survival is so much for this point in the game. Uh, what do we got? Worth it? No. Nah, nah, nah. This is working out just fine here. This is not a... Mm-hmm. Oh, I did not like... What I was about to get hit by there if I didn't kill that uh, host zombie fast enough. What? Oh, oh, I got hit by the thing. There we go. That's what I meant to do. I meant to get the parry there. Wh whatever. Let's just keep going here. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to go fight the giant, but I do think I'm going to go in through the sepulcher just because the sepulcher is... <laughs> it's going to be so much easier than going to the cavern. Even with the ability to just punch enemies like not so crazy, man. It's not... It's not going to be good enough. Here, what do you got? Oh, uh, what's the enemy in the background? You, which one specifically are you talking about? What, the giant? The giant, you can get to the giant from there, though. That's the, that's the thing. Go to the, go to the giant through the sepulcher rather than the cavern. Just the kind of, um, not stop me. The hammer was a better weapon in the game, so the MC hammer jokes would be more frequent. 
I feel like... I mean, technically, that should be the case when you're using the Nutcracker. Because if enemies are stopped, you do critical hits on them. That only makes sense. I want to see the giant, but I also want to sleep too. Too bad. <laughs> Look, you got a choice here. Do you want to see the giant or do you want to sleep? Which one is more important? And let me tell you, I don't know when I'm going to be seeing the giant next. This could be a once in a lifetime. Letting the days go by, water flowing underground. Sort of occurrence. Into the blue again after the money's gone. Uh, what causes malaise? What things cause malaise and what things don't? Uh, summoned enemies, so like trash enemies, I like to call them, don't cause malaise. If an enemy is summoned by enemies, for example, the the host zombie, yeah, the the biters summoned by the host zombie don't count. The slimelings uh, summoned by the death spitter don't count. Um, the I. Uh, <sighs> The biters summoned by other the other type of infected zombies also don't count, but any sort of regular enemy does. Traps also don't count. I mean, that's uh, won't reading chat distract you from the game? Eh, I can deal with it. Punch him one more time. <laughs> hmm. I mean, as much as I do like the symmetrical lance, that does uh, it's a tempting offer. 24,000. Ah, the Symmetrical Lance does do a lot of damage, though. Chat, what do you think? Chat, give, 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 me, a, give me your best opinion here. What do you think? Should I be taking zits? No, yes. Bad damage. Rapier is better. Rapier, good weapon. Lance, faster is better. No, oh man, we need like an actual... Um, Hole for this or something. I really did. It seems like it's pretty split. I'm seeing. Ah, I don't know. Go double main hand. No, that's not how you play this game. I can't use both of the weapons at once, so I'm not going to do it. You know what? I'm going to trust Wilfred Brimley's uh, judgment on this one and go take it. I do think it's going to be better than the Symmetrical Lance for a lot of fights that I'm going to be going up against. Uh, the Giant included, if I'm being honest here. But the giant might also be taken out by his own massive punches, so... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. There's a, there's a case to be made either way. Bam. Plus it's legendary. I mean, it is legendary. I mean, it's like, look at that. There's some good stuff. There's some good things happening here. Don't get 100% on poison. I might want to go for that as an affix at some point in time. Just, you know, is kind of an idea here. Why not use Giant Killer? I forgot to have Giant Killer unlocked. That would actually have been a great weapon. Damn, dude, you really got my number. <laughs> I mean, huh. Dajir, you got me. You got me. You, you, you nailed me right where it hurt. Why didn't I have that unlocked? That is such an obvious weapon to take. I'm going to be going up against the Giant, for God's sake. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> what a... Getting modded. No, we're not just going to mod people because they got me. If I modded everyone that got me, the entirety of chat would be mods at this point in time. Uh, I like the... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the, this is the clear choice. You missed the chest. I know about the curse chest. I'm not going to be taking them there. Can I get modded? No. <laughs> it's a sacred thing that I reserve for only a select elite. And there. And there, you know, just punch everything else. I don't want to deal with this garbage. And there you can see you're, I'm doing the the extra damage as I'm as I was looking forward to over uh, over a hundred thousand here. I just did a hundred and thirty thousand that singular enemy. It feels pretty good. All right. Okay, come on, you guys, get down. Oh, how does one become a select elite? I don't know. Catch me when I feel like modding people. <laughs> when I feel like throwing away my, my privilege like candy to babes. <laughs> uh, win curse chest when I'm about to leave the floor, <laughs> basically. That's going to be, that's going to be the audio. I want to not be a mod. Done. <laughs> 
I want not to be a mod? Be a not mod. Boy, uh, you... Yeah, again, if I modded everybody that got me, everybody would be mods. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, here, how about this? Talk to me when you're on one of the... One of the Japanese study streams. <laughs> and now nobody gets modded. Nobody, I say. And one... A two, and... Hey, come on, you. Go down. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, look, we all had a fun time with Rafe here. This is clearly the choice. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it, ye mighty and despair. Okay, um... Fine. Just punch him in whatever way you can. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Dog, stop it. And if I do need that, I'm going to keep it on the ground here. I'm too young to understand everything you adults are saying. Uh, a disturbing prospect considering how um, extremely violent this game is. I feel like you shouldn't be here. I feel like... I would have to appoint some sort of mod to kick you out of here, but I don't know if I can quite do that right yet. For, for I don't think somebody is of the elite status to be able to, uh, to kick people properly in one way or another. I didn't get to look at it. It has 40% extra damage and 50% if you're at max HP. That's the thing. I get 90% extra damage if I'm at max HP and 40% just based on it. Warframe is an M rated game when I play it. Yeah, and I suppose Warframe does include a lot of uh, adult themes. Like, um, war orphans being forced to fight against each other or something. Is that one Warframe? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <sighs> can't you only kick people from chat, but can't make them stop watching videos? Oh no, it does make them stop watching videos. I had this as an example when somebody asked to get banned. I'm talking about you, Jack Magic Cat. Getting a full 30 curse here. This is, uh, this is truly a bad idea. But, I'll, um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll it anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, let's just go. Let's go and see how this, how this, uh, how this train wrecks. Train, how this, how this train wrecks. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Dim stats, though. The stats are getting intense. <laughs> I'm not going to mince words on that. It is still a disturbing prospect to be so cursed, though. Highly, highly cursed stream right now, everybody. This won't end well. I mean, it's pretty easy to kill, like, 30 enemies in a row in the sepulcher. Ugh. So we'll see. I've seen a straight... Uh, have you ever seen a th straight 300% damage affix? I run into it one time. Oh, go check my other shovel run. Speaking of the shovel, that's where I found a shield with a just straight plus 300%. It's not common. It happens. I think Doc ignored my comment on purpose. No, that was on accident. <laughs> uh, I'll be turning 14 in October. Also, I feel like this is a little bit too mature for such an audience. Oh, I do not like this at all. Yeah. Can I get the roll through here? Ah, nope. Okay. <laughs> Again, there's nothing really to be afraid of, but uh, afraid I was nonetheless. Jesus Christ, what the hell? What is this trash? There. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Everything is occurring at once on a bad level. Hi, guys. Oh, no. I don't have any more. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, what's, what's, what's going on, everybody? Y'all having a good saucy time today? I am. <sighs> that was some good stuff. Ah! <laughs> uh, 
Now who was wrong? Instant full re HP regen. <laughs> I know. And also instant full um, curse got rid of. Oh, yeah, whatever. I, I'm going to pour myself a glass of chocolate milk. Just give me like one second here. Good God. Oh, I love you, glass of chocolate milk. And for a job well done, I feel like that's uh, that is a very, a very deserved reward. Ah, good stuff. So, anyway. I was on that last Japanese study stream. Can I be a mod? I didn't see you. <laughs> Don't act like you did that on purpose. Oh, I most certainly did. You, you I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and tell you that I planned that out. It's just, it worked out in my favor nonetheless. So, how's that? Ooh, boy. Chocolate milk, how dare you be lactose intolerant? I'm not lactose intolerant. In fact, I'm like lactose hyper tolerant. I eat so much cheese and, and dairy products on a daily basis, it would make your head spin. <laughs> I can't, I can't live without eating that at least like five or six pounds of it a day. <laughs> I should probably start taking stuff that isn't just survival. <laughs> just, you know, as a matter of, uh, Playing the game correctly. Okay, didn't matter. That's a lot of lactose. I know. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that I like it. <laughs> My doctor told me I shouldn't have whole milk anymore, and I've never felt so much pain. I mean, why is that? And yeah. Okay, don't need to worry about 6 until 60 survival. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, there's only two cursed chests left in the game, and really, I don't need to take either of them, if I'm being honest. I'm doing fine for statage right now, my dogmeisters. Okay, okay, just... I'm gonna go for health here. I'm going to go for health here, and we're not going to worry about stuff. All right. All right. No, you're not. You still need more off stats. I'm taking some off stats. I'm taking time off for stats, I like to say. I'm looking at my stats, and I'm giving them time of day, and the time of day is off. Is swearing allowed in chat? Swearing is you can swear as much as you want. Pull out your George Carlin routines as much as you need to. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. Anyone watch Princess Bride? Yeah, of course. It's a great movie. And done. Okay. Very careful. Do some mount. And there we go. Oh, is racism allowed? Uh, only against non-existent races. <laughs> like the, like that one time that people tried to convince me that, uh, people who didn't eat were a race. <laughs> or whatever that was supposed to be. Oh, okay, okay. It's like a giant can punch multiple enemies at once. It just does a, bun a bunch of stun. It, it does a stun damage. Well, stun damage. It does stun and it hits enemies around, but it doesn't actually hurt them. Mitochondrians, what do you got against Parasite Eve? <laughs> it's the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, the powerhouse? Of the cell. Boy, I'm just like one shot in enemies left and right. It's pretty great. Keep going. Just I'm, I'm gonna keep rolling with health. I'm gonna keep rolling with health to make sure that I'm not I'm not dying with health. <laughs> dying due to lack of health. Keep going. 
40k right now. That's pretty good. Parasite Eve, that was a nice game. <laughs> Which I was a remake. I don't know. I feel like, uh... I feel like it's it is fine as it is. If it definitely has the feel of a play of a PlayStation One game, and any way you look at it, at least in my opinion, and I feel like it works best in that sort of era. Like it doesn't need the RE remaster type of thing, even though that's the company that would be doing it. Okay, and yeah, you know what, Elite, no more Elite. Ow. <laughs> My pride. I want to kind of keep the whole dodging creates toxic cloud type of thing. That's pretty good here. Yeah. This chat is slipping into deeper madness. With each stream, it gets weirder. I feel like it's, one, I am just encouraging this. But two, also, it's just the natural uh, order of things. People want to be this way. And I'm merely enabling it. I'm just the ringleader of the circus here. The people who come to me are all acrobats and clowns in their own right. They were that before I got here. Wasn't the mitochondria as a powerhouse to sell? Uh, that means it's what's driving all the monsters you fight. I mean, it, it, it is part of the sell, it's true. Dance, puppets, dance. <laughs> That's not... Not that's nothing. <laughs> what did I do that for? <laughs> anyway. Uh please make merch. What would I have for merchandise? We talked about this before. All I would have is just the um the the the, the floral pattern, the the cherry blossoms on like a thong or something. And nobody wants to see that. Let's go. Demiix? Yeah, I was going for more the David Bowie, but that works too. <laughs> dance, water, dance. And now die if you don't kill all of my water clones. <laughs> Let's just go. <sighs> just sell your bath water. <laughs> I mean, I, I said this last time, I'll say it again. If you're not deceiving people... And they want to pay you for it. You earn that money. <laughs> oh, nothing here is good. Ah. I like... I, I want to keep the rampart. Yeah, I want to keep the rampart. Oh. I, uh... Well, just get out of here. I, there's nothing there that's worth getting. Double shield run. The, sh the sh shovel is so good. It's such a good shovel. I need it. Make one stream with Cam and let the art f uh, and let the fan art flow. Yo, oh, that's that's a bad that's a bad idea. <laughs> you have a full time job other than YouTube? Oh, I make nothing on YouTube. Trust me on this one. Uh, no, I got a full time job. File clerk, law firm. What I always say. That's not as much damage as I was hoping. Okay. Okay, that works out a little bit better. Why does he have four hands? Good question. I don't think that is going to be answered in this uh, in this stream in any way. Okay. Just keep rolling, 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 stop. And let's just... I mean, this is where having the shield is going to come into play. Ah! Okay, come on now. Oh, don't let him get anything off here. Ah! 
Oh, great. He's got his super attack. Well, that's not the worst one. That's actually the better one of the various super attacks he does. And by various, I mean the two super attacks he does. Okay. Well, I failed that one. Okay, come on. Ugh. Of course, he gets the secondary super attack up. Okay. Oh, God. Hey, come on now. I, I wasn't even able to attack. Oh no, that's a bad sign. Oh God, ew. Oh, yeah, well, as it turns out, this isn't the best weapon to go up against the giant with, as it turns yeah, which I'm fairly certain everybody could probably already tell, and I screwed up the jump there, and then I uh, had that problem happen where I walked back, where I kept walking even though after I got hit. Ouch. That's pretty rough. But hey, I mean, that's a... Uh so that's pretty much giant fist uh didn't work as well against the giant as i was hoping probably have damage mitigation from their drop weapons i mean well that's definitely not I, that definitely wasn't the case when i was using the tentacle and the um the other thing it's just uh the the flint the flint it's just i think that he just has big damage resistance against his fists you know that's just kind of the the deal I mean, successful run. I want to say that if I was able to get past the giant, it probably would have, it probably would have been a pretty good run. It's, it's like everything else. Yeah, it worked great with the giant's eye. That is true. It's like everything else was going just fine in that run. It was just that the giant, it's not a very good fight if you're doing it melee. That just happens. That's just how that goes. So... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it for the night. I think that's a good look at the giant's whistle. I like the weapon a lot, but it does have its own flaws, mostly against bosses, basically. You just blocked almost every punch with your face. I blocked almost every punch with the shield. It's like, I, I was at least on top of that. It was more that, um, you know, getting hit by like the crystals over and over and having him get his super attacks off. Eh, it was harsh. So anyway, that's that. All right. Good night, everybody. <clears throat>